Oh, there it is. Well, I, I've been getting back into doing a uh, electronic projects. Uh, I, I guess I did them oh, back in the 80s, the early 80s. I was good, really getting into it. I'm a ham radio operator, of course. And uh, it is amazing how much things have changed. I can go on the on the internet, like this is a uh, a data sheet for a device that didn't exist in the 80s, and I wouldn't have been able to look it up. Well, it didn't exist, but you know what I'm saying. This is uh, amazing stuff. I got software to test it with that I can download. I can buy the device on this device, this, this computer here, have it delivered to my door. It's pretty amazing. Also, I'm on multiple email lists where I can talk to other people who are doing the same thing. And we can work together to solve problems and, well, we can brag about what we're doing. That, that's friendly. So, uh, I was thinking this morning, I guess maybe a third of a project now involves getting on the internet and researching it, getting parts, and talking to other people about it. Um, that's just mind-boggling. Um, back in the 80s, you'd have to send away for a catalog to get the parts, or drive away to a store and look through their paper catalogs. Uh, you'd have to go to meetings to talk to people. Uh, or send them regular snail mail, which took forever. That's, the, you know, a two-week return time. And uh, getting data sheets and stuff like that. Of course, you didn't have to get software because there just wasn't any. So, <laughs> I think this is pretty amazing. Anyway, you'll be watching it on the Internet. Very cool. A third of it here. Uh, I guess for me, another third is making the video, and then that leaves uh, a third of my time actually uh, doing the projects. Hmm, go figure. <laughs> well, I'm in the lab cave. Today I'm going to play with my new uh, soldering iron, which I bought. And I actually have an old motherboard uh, set up here in the vise. It just crimped right in with the vise. And, uh, let's see, can you see that? An old motherboard. I think it was a uh, old Pentium 1. Uh, actually, it's a Pentium 4, but it, it was busted, bad capacitors. And I'm going to play with uh, the, figuring out the uh, temperatures of the soldering iron and everything before I start uh, on a kit I've got, uh, so I don't burn up the chips on the kit. So uh, I'll practice here and actually get some of the components off and reuse them, and uh, get my uh, hand-eye skills going. Well, this big box here is the uh, soldering iron. It has a uh, regular soldering iron tip, uh, temperature controlled. You set it with a dial. I'll show you that. That's right here. You can Fahrenheit or centigrade. But that's not what I'm going to play with today. I'm going to play with the uh, I guess it's a hot air wand. I've never used one, so this is all its all new to me. And uh, I guess it blows hot air out that tip and hopefully I can I can melt some uh, melt some solder with it. I wonder if it'll melt plastic. <laughs> yes, there's some plastic. Well, I can probably use this for plastic welding. Cool. This is that old PC board I was talking about. Let's crank this up to 800 degrees and see what we can burn off here. I'll be danged, it melts the solder.
Why looky there. Pulled it right out. Didn't even melt the plastic. Well that's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty hot. <laughs> Just go ahead and get all these suckers out. Ooh, that's quick. That's a lot better than trying to do it by uh, using a blowtorch, I'll tell you. Well, I got it. That ain't bad. That's a neat part. I got some components off. Didn't destroy the board either, it looks like. It's, it's probably... I mean, it doesn't look like it's burned or anything. That's pretty cool. When you use a blowtorch, the board is, uh, is gone. So there's still more on there. I'll throw it on the pile for later. What I was trying to get off and what didn't uh, apparently work was I was trying to get the uh, the hard drive headers off and uh, I don't know if there's enough light to see that but some of the pins just pulled out and uh, pulled out of the uh, connector and stuck in the board. Some of the uh, smaller headers did come out intact they might come in handy put pins on and where you don't can't put in a switch and you don't have to switch all the time you can always use a header <coughs> And these big ass components uh, that, you know, parallel port stuff and all that, they came off uh, fairly nicely. And a serial port one too. So I'll set them aside. Most importantly, I, I learned how to use my new soldering iron uh, a little better. And this, uh, and this heat gun uh, does work. So now I know. It's called a rework station. Now, now I know why they called it that. You can melt uh, melt chips off and have them fall off and put new ones in. It's pretty cool. Get up here. Get up here. Come on. Get up there. Lucky. Hey, get over here. 